Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 11 of my journey through group self-found Necropolis League. Last time I got this Glacial Cascades totems. Hierophant going pretty well. Hit an awesome shield with some essences. And today I think I want to go after getting a really good wand. So I want to set up a graveyard and try and craft something big here see what happens and it's really just starting to come together gems are not even level 20 yet still need flip for quality still haven't worked in a second curse for assassin's mark haven't really needed to yet I also went with my brother the other day and we went to cape gerardo missouri and we got to be in the totality of the solar eclipse that went through the united states I did take a few pictures, but pictures really can't showcase just how crazy it is to be just like in the presence of a solar eclipse. It's unbelievable. Now, I haven't really done much organizing on corpses, so I probably still don't have enough even, even through the mess of dump tabs that I have. All right, so I've done this before. Set up for the wand here. Needs tons of caster increased chance mods. So I need to start organizing for it. I need 22 modifier tier ratings. So I do not have enough even of the tier rating. Only 10 of them. So I'm definitely just going to need to keep farming more corpses. That I can do. Atlas passive tree is set up to farm them. Actually, I think this is the tree I was working with. Yeah, trying to farm Exarch altars. So I need to finish up the Eater and Exarch altars for the gear on my character while continuing to farm corpses. So just a simple Alk and Go map. Totems are going to take care of, looks like, anything and everything. There's a rare enemy in that pack. Yep. Took care of it. Oh, there's a beast here. And oh, I guess I got them out of range at the top ones. Increased effect of corpses in row. I might need those as well. Some frogs. Increased effect of corpses in column. Rewritten distant memory. Ooh, I got a six link. Modifier tier rating. That has me halfway there now, at least on those. I got seven greater embers. Looking for anything positive, I guess. I haven't seen anything positive yet as far as embers go on gloves. Two more modified tier ratings. All right, Divine Orb. I got a Ziggurat map. I need to get one of those T17 maps completed so I can have my slot on the map device. I haven't even attempted one of them at all. Final pack spawns the Nameless here on death. Yo, oh, that's cool. Chance to fracture an explicit modifier. Cool. And here he is. Nameless Seer. What you got? Ooh, Shavs. Ooh, a Brass Dome. 215 Widow Hail. I think it's gotta be this Brass Dome with the five all max res. Yeah, hook me up with that. Cool. Two Broken Truce. And a uh, Searing Exarch. Level 91. I don't know where I'm putting levels at right now. Probably should be more life. Though I do want Whispers of Doom. It's a couple levels out though. I think I'm actually just going to take the 4 attack block. Hold that up to 41%. What? Lionized Glare Bow. It's not rolled well, but it exists. I have a bunch of embers. Maybe now I can finally get something here. I don't know if there is actually anything. A max cold rest. You know what? I'll take that. That's something positive. So I think I can switch then to Eater instead of Exarch. Simple enough. Just swapped all that stuff to be over here. Chance to create a mirrored copy. I've got enough of those. I might be able to like try and make two. Got a row corpse. Ooh, we're getting a patch. 30 minutes. Fortress map. Yep, that is a T17. A weird name of a map. Level 92. Increased effect of row corpses. This level, I guess I get more life. I need to work on getting a jewel socket. You know, I'll just like plan on next level I get a jewel socket. Collect corpses in T16 or higher maps. Challenge complete. One of the in-game grinds completed without even thinking about attempting it. Let's see what we got here in these patch notes. Contains changes to T17 maps alongside a large number of necropolis and general improvements. 
T17 map changes, mini modifiers that can roll on T16 maps, and now also roll on T17s. Modifiers that can only roll on T17 maps are now rewarding in one of the five following ways. Pack size, rarity, more currency, more maps, more scarabs. T17 maps have significantly higher chance to drop Elder, Shaper, Conqueror, Synthesis maps. That's good. T17 maps will always roll with one T17 exclusive prefix and suffix. The T17 map modifier that causes rare and unique monsters to remove a percentage of life, mana, and energy shield on hit now only removes from players or their minions. The rare and unique monsters spawn a tormented spirit on reaching low life can no longer roll on T17 maps. Existing maps now have unique bosses are possessed. Okay, seems good. Still haven't done a T17 map, but getting close. Necropolis changes. The Lantern of Aramore user interface now sorts by devoted and haunted modifiers, then by tier. Implicit modifiers on base types are now displayed on item hovers when selecting a base type to generate with gravecrafts. Okay. Update the description for untainted all flame monster packs to clarify they drop no items. Harbingers can no longer have unresolved anguish. Gymling monster packs now have 50% chance to contain a unique monster, previously 100%. The grave crafting modifier that causes the crafted item to be corrupted with an increased chance for corruption implicit can no longer reroll the crafted item. That's probably good. The all flame ember of anarchy now causes a monster pack to be composed of a single rogue exile instead of multiple. Seems good. Veiled orbs can be dropped at lower areas down to monster level 68 from 78, which would have been only red maps before. Now any map mastermind has a chance. Scales with level. Significantly reduced volume of triggered war cries. Okay, that's probably good. And there's a lot of different bug fixes. Seems like good changes. Another fortress map. I might be more interested in attempting to run those. If they're not going to roll with like every mod being, oh, we're disabling this entire mechanic. You do, you can't suppress spell damage anymore. Good luck. I still don't think I have enough tier rating. Yeah, it's seven, I need five more. Gems are hitting level 20. I need two more modified tier ratings. Almost there. Running out of room at the Necropolis. Ten more tries on the boots. Nothing there. Nothing. So if he's saying this is full. Oh, I have two mod tier ratings in here. They're level 50 though. Okay, I have all the different gratises. Asina, Legius, Tyke, and Draven. It's all four of them. Interesting. Okay, I don't have to fight anything. All right, I get a gratis signet. Attack and cast speed, life, ES, unnerve, intimidate. Okay, well, I guess I make another one of those. I have all the corpses. Yeah, I guess that's a guaranteed one of these rings. I think I have all the Phariseas. I have two Drusia Parandus. The Phariseas. The Hand of Phariseia. Increased effect of non-curse auras while you have a linked target. Linked target always count as in range of non-curse auras from your skills. Non-curse auras from your skills only apply to you and linked targets. Okay, interesting. I don't think I can complete any of the others. I don't have any other sets of four. Then I go through here and destroy all these low-level corpses. That is 22 modifier tier ratings. That is what this says I need. And the rest, I guess, I have some play with. I need lots of caster mods, attack scarcer. So I guess I can start organizing this more now. Uh, let me just, like, look for scarcer and organize those all in the same spot. I only have four row increased effects. Unless there's some in here. No. No. All right, got all the other coffins pretty much organized. It wants 22 casters. I do not have 22 casters. So only eight casters, that's not good. It wants five criticals, and I only have two. It wants nine attack scarcer, I have two. So I don't know. I might still be a ways off from this. I got the attributes. Two of four chaos. One of six fires. I have a lot of life, so I only need one. Four lightnings of the six I need. Two of five manas. I have enough physical scarcers. 
and the resistance is good. So I can use the row plus column possibilities to ramp the effectiveness of a lot of the casters because I'm going to need to stack caster. But I need to at least get like most of the other things. And I might need room for item level because I have a lot of lower tier corpses in here. Now I do have a bunch of these filled coffins with corpses in adjacent graves and this corpse have their crafting outcomes randomized when this corpse is buried. That could let me roll a bunch of them over at a time. So that's just gambling bonus corpses. I think I gotta just keep farming for more. There's a fire scarcer. That's one that I really needed. Increased caster. Increased chance of caster mods. Hold 18 acres from that map. Maybe I can finally get the last of those knocked out. There's Fizz's extra cold. That'll do it. So I don't need to farm more altars. So I grab the destructive play stuff. And I have leftover points. And I guess I'm gonna get map drop chance and some more scarab chance. Well, I guess I need to do this invitation I have. I really wanted to get back into like or get into a crafted wand before I started doing stuff like this. Cause I know like I don't have great single target unless I can get all the glacial cascade totems firing at the same target at the particular range. It's not easy to do. So if I got an insane wand so that my damage is just super solid then this would be no issue at all just pop in here and delete them all but i just need to keep smashing maps i guess keep finding more corpses to use for the big craft was it hard? One splinter though. And then I try and pick 10 different maps. Now I just have to remember clear the map, then the boss. I killed the delirium boss. There's the crit damage gym. I think that was the last one. So I need to flip gyms now. Let's see. Spell totem gets placement speed, but I'll do it. Multiple totems as well. Cold pin gets cold damage. More crit chance and more crit multi. Unbound ailments. Bone Chill, the Creeping Frost. I don't know that I need to flip those. That's really all the support gems. Am I leveling anything on offhand? I'm not. That's probably not good. I'm gonna level a bunch of spell totems. Because spell totem, the level of that determines the level that my totem is. Thus determining how much life it has and all that. So having one of those level 21 would be really nice. Level 93. Oh, this gets me the jewel socket. Ooh, getting a coward's trial for my atlas completion. Also help level these gems up. It's one of the few I still have yet to complete. Unlock prefixes cannot be changed. Crafting recipe. Challenge complete. Because that's just more scarab chance. Your cosprey's will. I have an issue having just flipped my gems. Totems keep dying to stuff. In just this tin way. So much damage is lost in low level spell totem and multiple totems gems. So I'm just like running around here keep dropping totems. They keep dying but there's nothing else I can really do. The degen from Maven is hurting here as well. Getting totems caught on that definitely hurts. Got one more Maven splinter. Ohm's heart drop. Lightning modifiers are scarcer. I think I like have too many of those now. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get the craft done today. I'm gonna have to farm a lot more maps, farm a lot more corpses, or settle with something that's not like giving me the best odds for what I'm looking for. Ooh, Mata's teaching would need divine because it rolls one to two. That's cool to find though. Untainted spitters, nice. Citadel map, awaken minion damage support, fortress map. I really want to try one of those out to see what happens, but I'm also 45% of a level. I think I'm going to try and grind out this level, then hit a T17 map. Since I won't get the craft done, it feels like I haven't accomplished much of anything outside of getting these implicits crafted and stacking more boss maps up, which I am getting a few. Awakened added fire damage. Two awakened gems, that's good. I'll totem back up to level 18. Increased chance of caster mods. That's what I need. Alva's memory of reverse incursion. 
Oh no. Man, means I'm probably not getting my level today either. No! And I died again! No, no. Mm. I think I got them. Yeah, the stack of them that were in the middle, tormenting me, killing the totems. I already take those down. Yikes. Three deaths in one of those. Bad, bad, bad. Well, that's four rounds of Maven Tinways I did. Oh, wow, I have another tab that's not organized. So many coffins. The the micromanagement of it is kind of crazy. But I guess that's what you have to go through if you're trying to min-max it. Oh, let's see here. I need caster. I have 11 of those. Calls for 22. And I only have two of the nine attack scarcer. I did get another crit. And then there's still, even though I've organized a bunch of them, this one rerolls implicits. This one rerolls sockets. Chance for undead corpses not be consumed. There's so many random different things. I don't have a spot for organizing wise yet. Maybe some of these, like the extra unique ones and stuff, I need to use the like reroll adjacent corpse things. And maybe I could narrow down the ones that I'm needing more. I'm piling up a bunch of these embers as well. I need to use these. I'll get the rest of my dump cleaned out before next time. I did get a brass dome. That, that's probably the best thing that happened today. But to end things out, let's go re-roll this Awakened Added Fire. I can't anticipate anybody needing that, so let's see. Drop some totems in there. We good? Easy. Awakened Vicious Projectiles. That is definitely better. And I can do it again. I, I think I saved that one. I know Vicious Projectiles has decent use. I don't know if anybody's going to use the melee splash, but I'd rather have that one. For next time, assuming I can get the corpses I need and get this craft happening, I want to set up an atlas tree to go heavily into scarabs with harbingers, domination, and beyond. So grab a bunch of beyond stuff and just stack lots of enemies in maps and see how many scarabs I can farm. But I also would really like to get my extra map device slot before I do such. So I have a bunch of Beyond Scarabs. I have a bunch of Harbinger Scarabs. I have a bunch of Domination Scarabs. I would like to stack up fun combinations of those and see how many Scarabs I can farm. But hopefully I can get the wand, do T17 map, maybe go run Dedication of the Goddess to see if I can do anything with this Glacial Cascade. Quality being zero. And then I try and make that happen. Beyond plus Harbinger and see what I can do with this shrines i like the shrines a lot too and there's one that gives increased xp gain that could be fun to mess with but that's where i'm going to stop for today i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you like to help support my channel please consider using the super thanks the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member and i'll see you on the next one cheers